Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we're going to continue on. We had a, did a full screen section yesterday. Had a bunch of questions about how to actually make it fit perfectly. So it's easy to make it full screen, but with the menu, it kind of pushes it down behind. And if you want to make something that's exactly the right size for your screen and for any other screen that may be viewing it, it's pretty simple. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go and create a new page. And let's just call it try and spell it right. Okay, and I'm going to use the Divi Builder. And I'm going to build from scratch. There's a bunch of layouts if you want to use layouts, but today we'll build from scratch. Single row with a single column in it. And by default, Divi comes with all these modules as standard. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you check it out. Divi just keeps getting better and better and easier and easier to use. If you want to take it for a test run, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. Okay, let's put in a call to action. There it is. And I'm not going to edit it too much. Let's say my big news, something like that. And let's have a button in there. And just put a button in there. Just go down the link, button link URL. If you've got a URL, put it in there. I'm just going to put a hashtag in there. That'll, that'll just take it to the top of the page but it'll tell it to put a button in there and I'm going to pretty much leave that like that I'm just going to make that title a little bigger if we go over we've got these little blue sort of pencil icons that appear if you click on one of those it'll take you straight to the element you want to edit which is really time saving okay font I'll leave as is I want it to be really big ultra bold I want it to be capitalized I want it to be in the center it already is and I want it to be a whole lot bigger let's see how big we can go okay let's make those letters a little closer together I'm just going to click down so we get a negative value to bring them closer together it's almost touching right there oh that's that and let's take the size up a bit more you can actually just type a value in here if you want to if the slider is not going up high high enough for you that's absolutely fine I'm gonna leave that like that there we are a bit of uh, shadow okay so we've got this right here but we want it to be exactly in the middle of the page and we want this actual section to be exactly the height of our screen here or the height of anybody's screen that's actually watching it so yesterday we did that with the 100 VH command in the settings. Today we'll do it with a bit of custom CSS. We did a bit of that yesterday too. And I'll put this CSS we used today down below and you're welcome to use it. Okay, the first thing you've got to consider is when you give it that 100 VH, one VH is 1% 1 of the viewable height of the screen. It doesn't matter whether you're looking at a smartphone, tablet, or desktop. So 100 VH is 100% of the screen but what you've got to consider is when you're building it this section's always going to be pushed down by the amount of the size of this nav bar up the top here and I'm guessing that's about 120 or so so what we can do we can make it do a CSS calculation and say I want it to be 100 VH 100% of the screen minus so many pixels which we said was perhaps 120 I might have to adjust that I'm not for sure but we'll find out so without any further ado let's do it so here's our section let's go in there I'm just going to give it a background gradient or a color something simple let's go for a gradient and let's just make that a little darker something like that well, we want to be able to see it over the menu there we go that'll do fine now to make it full screen um, we could do it in sizing but I need to make it do a calculation so before I would have put it in here minimum height 100 VH but we're going to do it with CSS here so I'm going to go to the advanced tab I'm going to go to the custom CSS 
and I'm simply going to write in min height, min dash height, and then we've got to make it do a calculation. So it's colon and then calc c a l c, and the calculation which will be in some round brackets there. So I want it to be 100 vh, which is the height, and as you can see, it's already done that. But if I scroll down, it's going down too far. It's, it's not stopping at the bottom there, which is what I want. Um, and it's because of this right here. So I want to say it's 100 viewable height minus, what did I say, 120 pics. Okay, good. There we are. Can you see it's actually stopped right at the bottom there? fact that may even be it's a look yeah that's a little too much only by about five pixels or something let's try 125 let's try Ooh, still a little bit there let's try 130 could probably go into the customizer and calculate exactly what that is but this seems to work doesn't take too long 130 Oh, that's pretty much there. Let's go 135 and call it a day. There, that's pretty close. That's close enough for me. So we've got that exactly where the height that we want it. And any screen, like I said before, it will be 100% minus this much. Okay. Let's make this thing go down to the middle and it's exactly what we did last time so i need to put a semicolon after this because it won't read the next line of code if i don't put one there and i want to say display colon flex semicolon let's put it down where we want it and just to make sure it's going to do it every time there's no confusion i'm going to add one more line which is flex direction flex dash direction and we want it to be working on the column so it's sort of top to bottom C O L E M N semicolon just in case we want to add some more code and that should do it you've now got a section that exactly fits the size of the screen and within that section you've got a module that is vertically centered within that section just save our changes exit the visual builder save the draft or publish the page not going to publish it and exit the visual builder and that's what you're left with now I think that worked absolutely perfectly just got that little footer on the bottom but as you can see the screen is perfectly fitting below this header there so there you have it I hope you found that useful I hope that's answered the question if you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really does help me decide what videos to make next. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.